Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica Violet and I like to talk about a lot of things, but mostly like tattoos, being fat, slash plus size, fashion, whatever. I think a month or two ago, I posted a video of a little haul that I did with Shop Cider or Cider. I don't know, I'm like, is it Shop Cider or just Cider? I don't know, <laughs> still trying to figure that out. I think it's just Cider. Um, let me know in the comments below, I'm just, so I don't know things. Someone from Shop Cider or Cider reached out to me and they said they liked my haul, so they sent me some clothes. So I was gonna do another haul for you. Of course, try on so y'all see how it looks on my body. And of course, I'm going to be 1000% transparent and let you know my true opinions. And y'all know how I do these videos. I try to make sure that I get everything in an outfit so then it's like very cohesive and easy for me to try on things. So let's just hop into it. I think most of the things I picked up were in a 3X and I usually wear a size 18. I usually fluctuate in weight, but usually I'm around 260 and I'm 5'5". So here is the first thing I picked up, which is this dress. I'm so excited for this. I'm such like a whore for floral print, but this is in a 3XL. And then I don't remember what the title of the dress is, but I'll have it on the screen. And it's made of rayon. 100% rayon. So we have this beautiful floral rose pattern and it's long sleeves. We have a beautiful deep neck and then it has some like scrunching around the breast areas and some layers. So I'm really excited about this. I'm thinking I'll wear this on Valentine's Day if it is looking cute and gorgeous. But let's go ahead and try this on. Alrighty, so I pinned back my hair just so you can kind of get a full better view of everything. This light is like, I closed my blinds, so I'm not sure why my windows are like so bright, but anyway. So here is the dress. It is pretty lightweight, which is nice just because sometimes I feel like formal wear and dresses are too thick and then I'm like sweating. But I think this would be a really nice piece to have during spring and summer. If you were wearing this in colder climates, you could easily make this warmer, like put on some thick tights or layer underneath. So I have a bralette on, obviously you can tell. <laughs> if you are worried about cleavage, I think you could probably put like a safety pin or a few stitches in so it is more conservative, but I don't really care. And if I were to wear this dress, I would obviously change and wear this, but I guess it's green, so it kind of goes with it. I don't know if it's just my shoulders or if it's how the dress is structured, but I really like the sleeves. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they are ruched right here a little, so it kind of gives it like, I don't want to say shoulder pad effect, but I definitely feel like it's making me look more, I don't want to say square, but I don't know, making my shoulders look very strong and powerful, which I love. And then the, the sleeves are super cute. They are a little like puffy because there is the cinching right here. Is there like a specific name for the sleeve? Like a little ruching? All right, well I forgot what I was talking about because my dog decided to have a spaz attack because another dog is outside. Okay, sit. Thank you. Anyway, I really like how it has this little scrunching or ruching right here under the bust because it kind of gives the illusion of more of an hourglass figure, you know. Everyone loves a snatched weights, what can we say? And then we have the little tears with the ruffles, which is cute. And I also wanted to mention this. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I feel like it is so fucking hard to find a dress that's like, you know, like short, but like not too short because like my ass just be hanging out of everything. And it's not like I have a huge ass. It's just like, I don't know, maybe it's like my fupa taking up too much fabric, but it's like, it's really hard to find something that's like, short but not like mini short and then it's like not too long so it's like a mini length i don't know and i'm really happy with this length you can tell it's like right above the knee and i like it but here's a little 360 moment if you wanted to i think it'd be really easy to style this in like different aesthetics like if you were goth or like liked more leather stuff you could put on like a harness or like a really thick belt and wear it with some boots or personally i'm a bit more of like grungy alt whatever so i think like a really chunky belt would look cool i would wear my docks maybe throw on a leather jacket or a jean jacket depending on the vibes but i feel like this is a very nice like basic piece that you can style towards any sort of aesthetic or personal style so i would definitely recommend this i think this is a solid 10 out of 10 for me 
Next to little outfit is with this sweater vest, I guess. Um, I bought this in a 4XL because I wanted it to be a little oversized and the fabric is 55% acrylic, 35% polyester and 10% nylon. But here it is, it's kind of really putting my white balance out of whack, but it's okay. I don't know if I'm like into the sweater vest trend, especially because a lot of them are like really elaborate colorful patterns and I don't know, I just don't like vibe with that. Like I love other people wearing it, but I just couldn't see myself wearing it. But I was thinking I would wear it open, so it'd be like a little vest moment. Did anyone else wear vests in like middle school for no fucking reason? Like I was out here looking like a Jonas brother for no reason. But I decided to pair the vest with these jeans and then let's see if they're actually made out of denim. 1% um, spandex, 2% vis, or I don't know how to say that. 25% um, polyester, 30, 73% cotton. And I bought these in a 3XL as well. I'm kind of nervous about these because I saw some people on TikTok buying them and they didn't fit. So hopefully they fit on me. They're this dark blue pair of denim. They're very like 70s inspired. They're a bell bottom. We have these cute little front pockets so it gives a wonderful vintage feel. And then of course we have some big butt pockets which is so important because women want pockets in their clothes. I don't know how much I have to tell you guys this. Nice and long. Let's go try these babes on. Fingers crossed. So here is the second outfit. You had to see the stomach tattoo. I'm not sure what order I'll be posting all my videos, but yes, I got my stomach tattooed. I'll be getting it filled in a week or so, so it'll be finished soon. But here is the second outfit. I'm really shocked by these jeans, to be honest. The people that I saw online talking about these jeans said that they were too tight, but to be honest, I think I could even size down in these. Or I think it's maybe just like the waist part, which a lot of plus size people struggle with. It's just like, I wouldn't say it's too big of a gap for me. It's not like I have a bubble butt or anything, to be honest, but I don't know. I feel like I definitely could have gone down a size. They are super stretchy, which is nice. And then because I didn't buy like a plain white top, I just put this white crop top with the sweater vest just for the simplicity of this video. I don't think I would style this together. I really love this. I think it is really cute. To be honest, I wish it had pockets, but it's not like a big deal that it doesn't. I just like, I like having pockets, you know, I just like putting my hands in feeling very comforted, but it's totally fine that it doesn't. Um, I really do like this outfit though. Let me kind of move my camera so you can see the jeans more. So here's a better view of the full outfit without my head. I will take off of this sweater vest so you can see it more. But here are the jeans. I still have the tag on, obviously, because I wanted to make sure everything fit right. But I really like these, these are cute. I can never really find vintage jeans whenever I thrift, obviously, because I am plus size. But these are like a cute alternative and they're not too long. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm 5'5", but I feel like if I were to wear these, I'd probably do something with the platform or a little more of a heel, just so it wasn't dragging. Here's what they look like on. Of course, beautiful butt pockets. We stand. Yeah, I would probably wear a belt with these just because there is a little bit of the little gap but nothing too bad to be honest but I really do like these jeans and I definitely do recommend them I'd say 10 out of 10 for the jeans maybe size down if you're in between sizes let me throw the vest back on but then here is the full outfit with the vest again the vest isn't really anything special I feel like you could probably thrift something a little better uh, I give the vest like seven and a half out of ten maybe eight out of ten I think if I styled it the way I would with like all of my regular clothes, I would like it a bit more. But because of this outfit is just very simple and I'm trying to showcase the pieces, I don't know. I like it. Okay, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's just if it had pockets, it'd be like solid 10 out of 10. Then for the next outfit, the top I have paired with it is this off the shoulder top. Um, it feels really interesting. Let's see what the fabric is. 95% polyester, 5% spandex and this shirt feels like those really soft pajama pants. I didn't realize that this was on the shirt. Like I just, when I looked at the picture, I was like, oh, okay, it's just like someone's wearing a tank top under it, but it's actually like this is built in. So it's like, you know what I mean? 
I mean, you can see, right? <laughs> I don't know about this one, but I guess I won't know my true opinion until I try it on. It's interesting because like the top is not hemmed at all. Like it literally just looks like it's fucking cut. But it has this beautiful like, um, would you call that like external sewing here? I don't know, but I'll form opinions after I put this on my body. So I paired them with these pants and Do y'all hear that? Like it literally sounds like garbage bag. <laughs> I think these pants would be really nice if you were going out in a storm, like they were feeling very much so like a raincoat. Ugh, I don't know, I kind of like am really scared to put these on. And then the button is just like made from plastic, which I mean, I guess most buttons are, but it's just like a very interesting shape. If y'all can even see that, looking like a dandelion. I don't know about these ones, babes, but let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, with peace and love, I fucking hate these pants. They remind me of those Nike pants that are like, swish, 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 and it's really fucking annoying. Um, I don't really like the fit of these as well. They're just like, kind of ill-fitting. They are a little loose in the back, like I mentioned earlier about the jeans, but I guess that's just like bound to happen. If you're like a little thick, they're, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're kind of tight right here on the thighs, but then like looser up top. I don't know if it's maybe because there's like no stretch to this fabric and I don't know, like I can't really like lift up my leg too high. I just can't stand the sound of these pants. Like I could not see myself like going shopping and wearing these pants because I feel like, do you hear this? I don't know, maybe it's just like something wrong in my head, <laughs> which is probably the case. But if these pants were made in a different fabric, I would really, really like them. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I will pan down. They have a very beautiful, like wide leg flare look, which is nice. I feel like if these were made out of those, like, I feel like if these pants were made out of those, like, I don't want to say they're like basic bitch hippie pants, but you know what I'm talking about. These pants would slay, but they're made out of raincoat slash garbage bag, so it's not very comfortable. But then here is the top. You can kind of see that I am wearing my green bralette still, but I hate this. Like, what is this? This serves no purpose. I mean, if you look at it, it's just like sewed in, so I feel like I could probably just cut this out and I might wear it because I it's cute I really do enjoy the color of it and the fabric it's just this does really nothing for me it's just like I mean I understand most clothes are like decor but I appreciate functionality in a shirt and this is this isn't giving this isn't doing anything but I guess if you were like it is an off-the-shoulder cutesy moment so if that's something you're interested in I don't know maybe that would float your boat but it definitely doesn't float mine but I do like the top. I think I'll just cut out or seam ripper this part of the shirt out. And I really do enjoy the texture of it. <sighs> I've been really into texture lately. I don't know if it's because I'm like letting my guards down and like coming to conclusion and coming into connection with like my true emotions and feelings or if it's like an ADHD thing. I don't know. I always see these things. I'm like, oh, this is because ADHD. And I'm like, is it though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm newly diagnosed, but I have been struggling with this my whole life. Anyway, but let me pan down so you can see the pants. Here's more of the pants. You can kind of see that they're more wide leg at the bottom. Like I already said, if they were a different fabric, I would really like these a lot more, but the trash bag is not giving, okay? And here is a full 360 of the pants. Pants, I would say two out of 10 if I had to wear them like zombie apocalypse, obviously I would, but like, I hate the sound. Do you hate the sound or am I just like neurodivergent or something? Now that I'm here, I would rate the top mm, eight and a half out of 10. Then for the last fit is this top. This is so fucking nice quality. I really, really like this. And I got it in a 3XL. Of course, it's made from 20% acrylic, 30% cotton, and 50% polyester. I think this is so beautiful, very chic moment. We have these thick pearl looking things down the center, but um, it doesn't like unbutton or anything. I guess there's for show. You just throw it on and up top we have some beautiful lace. It's long sleeves and then down here it is lace as well. 
It seems like a pretty like thick and stretchy material, so I'm excited for this one. And I decided to pair it with these like, what is this, a dress overall, a skirt overall. It is in a 3XL, of course, and then the fabric is 97% polyester, 3% spandex, and of course, we got it in a beautiful olive green color because what else does a girl wear? If my, if I could make my skin this color, I think I would. But here it is. I would say like the pins and stuff kind of feel like cheap and a little loose, but I mean, that's what you're getting. Like you're buying affordable fashion, so it's not going to be super, um, what would you call it? So I feel like if you were to invest a little more in your clothes, then these would be a little heavier, but I'm excited for this anyway, so let's go ahead and try it on. All right, so here is the last outfit. I don't know, it's like giving me cottage core and I really, really love it. I really love the lace detailing. I think it is super cute. And then on the sleeve, there's like little slits, so it's not super like restraining, but it also, you could like maybe even fold it like this and do a little cutesy moment, you know? Whatever floats your boat, but I like it laying down. Like I already mentioned, the top is super high quality. I really, really love it. I think it is so cute. I really love the lace detailing and how it really shapes around the bust is also very beautiful and elegant. <clears throat> it's giving grandma core, but like very sexy, cool grandma core, if you know what I mean. And then we have this overall pinnacle dress skirt situation. And it is pretty lightweight. I would say like, you know, like the buttons are kind of lightweight and I wish they were like a little thicker, but what can you do? That's what you get for buying affordable fashion. But I don't know, right now it's like giving me Girl Scouts. But here's a better look at the full fit. I wish it had pockets, like, I don't know. I feel like, oh, I wish it had pockets. I feel like most skirts and dresses need pockets, but can you do and I do think it is a very like nice appropriate length as well like I already mentioned I struggle with finding things that like a decent length because I don't like when my ass is hanging up this goes a little I guess is it like on the knee so you know things are covered but it also is like not super long or super conservative but yeah I really do enjoy this and here is the back. Nothing really super extraordinary or different. But there is this really big pocket here, which I love. I'm giving this like sweater or shirt 10 out of 10. I really, really love it. And this is like pretty okay. I don't think it's really anything to write home about personally, but if you've been looking for something like this and it's in your style or like in your wish list, I would totally recommend it. It's like a thinner, um, corduroy fabric. So if you get hot easily, I feel like this would be a really good pick for you, but I would give this probably like a seven out of 10, to be honest. Alrighty, so that was the haul. How did you guys like everything? Do you want to see more shop cider hauls? Do you want to see any other stores? Let me know down below. And if you like anything, links to everything will be down below. I'm not sure if they'll be affiliated or not, but everything will be in the description. And I'll let you know if I get them affiliated or not. Affiliated just means like I make like a tiny bit of money off of you buying things. So if you want to support me in any sort of way, maybe use the affiliate links or not. You don't have to. It's okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.